Okay, this is Daryl Fuller. I'm going to give you a little quick video on a little bit of a customization of Corel Draw. I'm using version 2020, and it will be different than some of the older versions. Um, but this is 2020, and I just want people to know how to do this. So let's start a new document. You can call it anything you want. Let's, for this purpose, we're going to call it Nudge Distance. And we'll just leave the settings the way they are and hit OK. And so to give you an idea of what the problem is, right here is your nudge distance. So if you hover your mouse over it, it will say nudge distance. It tells you to set the distance for the nudging objects. And this one right now is set for 0.001 inch. So let's just highlight that and give it one inch and hit enter. And let's go over here and get a circle. Draw an oval. And then let's say, oh, I want to nudge that over a little bit. Well, what's my distance? I don't know. So to find out, you have to click the pick tool and then click off of your object. And there it shows up at one inch. Okay, so now i got to select it again if I want to nudge it. And there we go, one inch. Oh, well, now I want to nudge it down a half an inch. So you have to click off of it again. Go up here to type in 0.5 and hit enter and then select it again and then go down a half an inch. So let me show you how to figure, make that a little bit better. So let's go up here and do a cut. We're going to customize our toolbar is what we're going to do. Let's make this thing show up all the time. So let's go to tools, options, customization and then go to command bars which is already highlighted here and let's go tell it that we want a new one and let's call this one just nudge and hit enter and you'll see it checks mark check marks it right off the bat and if you'll notice right up here is where it puts it it's just floating there so if you go up here and click and hold, you can drag that anywhere you want. So for now, let's just drag it down here on our screen. And then, so now we want, all we really want to do is put a nudge on this one. So let's go to commands and see if we can find nudge. Well, here's the ends down here. So let's slide on down. Okay, well, I don't see them anywhere. So let's just go up here and hit search. Type in N-U-D, and there it is, nudge. So you click and hold, drag it over to your new menu item, and you let go. There's your new toolbar, toolbar number one. Man, that shouldn't have said toolbar number one. It should have said nudge. There, now it says nudge. Okay. So now let's hit OK. And if we want to dock it up here at the top, we just drag it up here and set it down. And now what we can do, let's draw another circle. Click on a circle. Our nudge disappeared here, but it didn't disappear here. So let's draw another ellipse. And we can go a half inch. Or we can select right there and let's go two inches, hit enter. Now we're going two inches and I never have to go over here and click the pick tool. 2.8 inches and over we go. So that's how you can customize your toolbar to allow you to nudge and change the nudge distance anytime you want. A lot of these commands can be done the same way, but I just want to show you one real quick one, and that's the nudge bar. Thank you. Hope you got uh, something out of this video. And if you need to, if you want to see something different, see something new, just give me a comment, and we'll see what we can do. Thanks.